Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do week two's check-in for December and um, we haven't had a ton of crazy things happen lately so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. So the categories that I personally like to track every single week are groceries, gas for our cars, household, eating out, and then anything that may be unbudgeted. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my categories. I feel like we've been doing pretty well so far, but this is definitely like the ultimate test to see if we need to cut back in any areas um, and just like kind of keep us on track. If you guys are unfamiliar with my situation or whatever, I really doubt it, but because <laughs> um, I feel like most of the same people kind of watch the same videos, but um, we are due with our baby girl. Um, the latest day that she'll be here is December 30th. So really at this point, I'm like 36 and a half weeks. I feel like she could come at any point. So um, it's definitely going to be a little different with having a baby and it'll be interesting to see how our budget in December is affected by that because if we have her and we haven't gone grocery shopping, then we're probably gonna be eating out a little bit more. <coughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm getting another cold and it's not good. So anyway, let's take a look at what has happened so far. So the last time we recorded must have been right around the Tuesday because we've had quite a bit of other things kind of going on. So these are my new expense tracking stickers. <coughs> um, everything in green is gonna be income. The only thing that I really track is Jason's income. Groceries are in pink, gas for our cars, is in yellow household used to be a cash divider for us now <coughs> it is a um, item similar to like groceries and gas sorry I have to get my water because I am legit dying over here okay um, so household we're now treating like other expenses just because we always use our cards for that and so I'm sick of just like constantly switching money from one divider to the next um, and then we have other in purple so that's going to be anything that's in our budget but just not like a regular item we don't really have that very often bills are in blue and then anything that's unbudgeted would be in orange but we haven't had anything so far so that's great um, so let's go ahead and add up our groceries since that's the first thing that I like to track in terms of our weekly check-in and it looks like we have a couple things so we have other for 458 so I got that one we have other of 1097 then we have other of 769 and then we have jewel 4986 and Aldi 4180 so that brings us to a total of $114.90. And last time we spoke, we had $473, 25 remaining, which means that we now we have $358.35. $358.35. So we're doing pretty well so far. Let's go ahead and see what that means in terms of, you know, weekly what that is. Um, and in January, I changed my budget kits. Um, so that that will be a spot going forward in January. But right now, there's not a spot for it. So we're just going to kind of manually do it and figure it out. Um, so I always do buy the number of Sundays because ideally we would go grocery shopping on a Sunday. So one, two, three. So I'm just dividing that number by three. And we have about $120 um, per week going forward. So that is perfect. It's plenty for us every week as long as we don't do anything crazy. So that's good. Um, and then in terms of gas... Oops, let me mark that one off so I don't forget. In terms of gas, it looks like we filled up the both cars right around the same time. So $34.58 for Jason's car and $21.99 for mine. So that brings us to a total of $56.57. 56 dollars 57 
57. Last time we had 120 and 80 cents, so we have $64 and 23 cents. So um, roughly another fill up for both Jason and I, and that should actually probably be fine. Uh, my car can probably make it two weeks, and Jason's car maybe a little bit less than that, but we'll see. Um, the thing is, recently I've been driving Jason's car more often, um, to work and stuff just because it's com more comfortable than my car. My car is smaller. Um, I don't have a backup camera, which is not normally a big deal, but when you're pregnant and you, it's hard for you to look behind you, it's not so fun. So, um, I think we should be in good shape in terms of gas, but that's completely okay. Like with the holidays and traveling and stuff, it's completely okay if we're over a little bit. Um, in terms of um, in terms of household, it looks like the only thing that we've had so far is a Dollar Tree run for $2.15. So we still have quite a bit left for that. So last time we had $44.74, we spent $2.15. So that means we have $42.59 remaining. Okay, so for eating out, um, I talked about this last time because I was really thrown off by the fact that like somehow we had like $50 remaining and we still have quite a bit of time left over. And honestly, I haven't figured it out, unfortunately. Um, Jason did not take anything from my wallet and I don't keep a log or anything of what we spent just because like that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having cash. Like I feel like it's supposed to be something where you just like pull it out and you don't have to keep track of receipts and stuff. And usually when you pay with cash, you don't really get receipts. So anyway, I have no idea what happens. I personally hope that someone didn't take it because I feel like that is kind of crappy and hopefully like, you know, we just somehow spent more than what we thought, but I really doubt it because I purposely gave us more this month because I knew we would have the baby at the end of the month and I knew we were probably going to be eating out. So it's kind of a bummer, but that's kind of the price that you pay when you're doing cash. So in January, it'll be interesting. Um, I won't be at my work and honestly, the only opportunities for someone to take money from my wallet would probably be at work because I leave it at my desk. Um, and when I go to meetings and stuff, there's plenty of opportunities. Last, I think a couple weeks ago, we had a fire drill and I was like running to the bathroom in between, so I didn't have my purse with me. So I would love to say that we spent the money and that it wasn't the case that someone took it, but I honestly don't think that was the case. So I don't think I'm gonna figure it out, but as of right now, we really don't have any eating out money, so um, we're just gonna have to kind of use either our allowances going forward or um, we do have a Discover credit card, and I know a lot of people are against credit cards. We honestly don't have an issue with them, and we get, you know, cash back. So we could use our cash back for the month um, for the rest of our eating out if we wanted to. So we have a couple different options in terms of that, um, but yeah, I did not figure it out, unfortunately, and it's kind of a bummer, but again, like I said, that's kind of the price that you pay when you deal with cash. It's just not as easy to track, um, and if you have, like, $200, it's a good target. So, anyway, um, we, as of right now, I think only have a dollar left in our eating out, so anyway, that's that. And then, like I said, for unbudgeted, we have nothing, um, which is great. We spent nothing and we obviously don't budget anything so that's good there I want to talk a little bit about some of the things here so first thing Jason's last day at ACE will be on the 17th so um, this will probably be his last payday for ACE and he will definitely get paid less than what I thought for December which is 100% okay I didn't factor when I put together our draft budget, I didn't factor that in because I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, but obviously with Christmas and Christmas Eve, or like Christmas Eve and um, Monday is the day that his parents and um, all of them are going to go downtown. So he doesn't want to miss that. Um, and 
um, sorry, I'm like dying here. And then after that, um, you know, hopefully we'll be having the baby. So, um, that's going to be something that's going to be a little different with our budget because it'll just, you know, we won't be bringing in it as much, which is completely fine. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is we have pretty much gotten everything that we needed for the baby, but we did pick up a few extra things. So, um, from Bye Bye Baby, I picked up some stuff for our car. I picked up a couple mirrors. I picked up, um, like shades for both of our cars. So that was $60. And then um, we did get a refund for part of our diaper bag because one of the inside zippers broke um, and that's kind of a bummer but I didn't want like they offered to replace it and everything but I just didn't want to wait like she could be here any day so I wanted to have her her bag so anyway they gave us $35 which was great and then my sister gave us a little baby present which was $100 and so right now out of our savings we're actually adding $74.28 um, to our savings from this like extra stuff. I, I keep like all the baby related stuff over on this side and if you saw last month we took out a lot of money from our savings for baby stuff so this is a good thing to be happening right now. Um, in terms of um, sinking funds we haven't had a ton of things, honestly. I don't remember the last time that we checked in or whatever, but we've just had some random stuff for like Christmas, um, home repair stuff, and then we did take Macy, we did take Macy out um, to do a couple activities. So I just added all of those together so I would have more room. So nothing huge in terms of, um, transaction log or anything there. So that's pretty much it for this check-in. I think the biggest thing is that we're doing pretty well when it comes to all of our categories. It's a bummer that we don't have our eating out money anymore, but I'm not going to give us extra money. I'm just going to try and work around it. Um, and one last thing that I wanted to mention because I feel like a lot of people watch this and like kind of go and look at the shop. So my Etsy shop will be closing on, well, it will be on vacation um, while we wait for the baby and then shortly after we have the baby. And um, it will be closing on Sunday the 15th. So um, December 15th. So I'm not sure exactly what time that will be. That might be Saturday night. Um, like later at night that might be like Sunday morning that might be Sunday night I don't know as of right now and I don't want to give a clear answer just because I'm not sure but I am working on getting orders out um, there were so many orders and I want to thank you guys seriously from the bottom of my heart for like just supporting me and being excited about the sale and all of that um, but I am working on getting those out as quickly as possible so my main concern right now is getting those out i'm not doing restocks so if you want to pick something up december january and february are all up but there's a lot of things that are sold out and i'm honestly just not planning on doing restocks before i close the shop i just have way 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 too many orders to do um so if there's something specific that you're looking for message me on etsy otherwise you can pick it up when the shop reopens and i'll have everything restocked and ready to go um but that's pretty much it that was that was it for our weekly check-in that's all i wanted to let you guys know in terms of the shop so if you want to pick something up before i go on vacation definitely go check it out um, but other than that that's pretty much it i hope you guys are having a good december i know it's kind of stressful with the holidays but um, I feel like pretty prepared in terms of Christmas like we we have all of our Christmas presents and um, I feel good about it so hopefully you guys are in the same spot um, but if not you still have some time to get everything ready um, and yeah so I will see you guys in another video bye guys